How's it going YouTube? It's me the cool loser and in this video I have a unique product here that I haven't done yet and I'm excited to share this new Power Director 14 video maker. So first thing we're gonna have to install disk 1 which is a software and user guide and then we'll do the disk 2 for the extra content in order for us to do lots of cool effects for our video editing. And it's a good time to try them out especially if you're into video editing extreme videos like with the GoPros or sport cameras that I review. This is gonna be a great one to edit. I'm showing you here that I'm editing this exact video that you're watching right on PowerDirector 14. Everything is laid out simple for you to remember and get to. This is your display area where you're going to be able to go through all your pictures and your videos that you actually want to set and drag down to your timeline. So if we grab this part, we can go to the right and it gets bigger, we get zoomed in more, or we go all the way to the left and we stretch it down. So if you want to grab this video in particular, you drag it down. So we can just grab it and zoom in and we can see the audio clips down below. You can press Control T on your keyboard or press the split button right there and it'll split them into two separate clips. If you got music, then you can just put it in the music section here. This is a little audio, here's your effects. And there's even more down here where you can add a whole bunch more voiceovers and more text and stuff. Here on the left side, you're gonna see there's effects. There's quite a bit on here. I installed the second disc and you need to do that so you can get a lot of effects that you'll be able to set in your videos. Click it on the next tab, you're gonna see you got paint animations that will be popping up when you do videos like that. You got lots of hearts. You get to see what they look like before you even add them to your videos. Going down to your titles, look at this little tab right there. You got a lot to go through. So if you wanted something like a look like this for your presentation or something like this for presenting an app per se, or you know, I got lots of playtime to be messing with this because it's something that you can make yourself with new intros, do a lot more than what I would be showing you here. Next one, you get to swing and uh, those are the transition between videos if you want to make it skip. But when you see this, that's supposed to be the background of your video. So if we do text blur, so if you wanted to add like a good effect to the background and put the letter. So if we put this on top of here, you can see that now in the background, we can press play and everything's blurry except for the lettering that I have in here. So that would be really cool to mess with. You can still download a lot more if you wanted to. This is just what you get out of the box, which is a lot. Here's a tab that you'll be able to change all those transitions, those effects, those intros, those outros, presentations, hip content where you could add cool little things here and add your logo pop up. Uh, audio levels if you're gonna do music presentation and you just want to upload your beats you got that to be in the background do I need to say more it's an awesome little thing there all right so let's say I'm gonna go in between these transition there so I'm gonna press that I'm gonna press play here and then it's gonna skip and transition and here's gonna be the transition switch And if they're too slow, you can speed them up. Definitely some fun stuff that we'll be able to use on this. But if we go to produce here, you choose what type of file format, AVI, MPG2, Windows, QuickTime. So if you end up doing 3D, you can mess with 3D. There's a device here, select the file to format. Or if you have an Apple device, you can save it for your device, your Sony, your Microsoft. Even your Blackberry can be done. We're going to go to online and we can see we can upload it straight to Facebook, YouTube, Dailymotion, Vimeo, all the popular ones that you would want to use to send this video directly there. Instead of you having to wait for the render and then going to your website and uploading from there, this will directly upload it while it's rendering to the server. If you want to create a disc and that's pretty much it, you can see there's the disc. We have the video that we'll be playing. Obviously, I didn't edit it yet, but this is the background that we could change and this is like an all-in-one package that's done very simple to use. Of course, if you want to go to capture, you can go to rec recording your screen. So right now, this is the aspect ratio. You can go into this if you want to record in this mode. And you can choose to go through your webcam. It's going to open up on my HP laptop, which I am over here. But of course, we go back to edit and we can bring whatever we just did back into this little media content folder area 
I love how easy it is to mess with your video. I select the scroll if you want it to scroll different ways. The title we want to do Cool Loser Tech. Double click on it. You get to full screen. You press play. And there is what we can see. I like how simple everything is on here. And I have a sports camera here called the SJ4000. This is the Wi-Fi edition. I haven't reviewed this yet. But I'm going to be recording this testing footage. And I'll be editing this on the Cyberlink Power Director 14. So far, I'm impressed. I like the layout. It looks really clean. And I can't wait to produce some videos with this. Okay, so to finish off this video, I'm going to show you that I learned a lot while I was editing. This whole entire video has been edited on this editor and I've been enjoying it there is a little bit getting used to it because it's new obviously and but I can feel that I can definitely get it down and it will work really nicely I'm gonna click here to import some files I'm gonna click on one of my shaky videos and I'm gonna press play here and you're gonna see while I'm trying to make this video it's pretty shaky as I'm walking around and so what I'm going to do, I'm going to right click onto it and go to edit video image and you can see there's power tools, motion tracker, you see action camera sensor, fix enhance and freeze frames. Those are awesome things that a lot of people should be using, that I should be using. And if we go to action camera center, we can click into it, a new folder will pop up and this is where we can go to fixing or we go to the effects. This is where we'll be able to mess with that clip. We can go to FX to freeze the framing. You know, when you see people reverse the video or slow it down or speed it up, like those time of time lapse type of videos you can do easily here but when you go to fix and when you go to video stabilizer you can click on that you can see how much you want it to stabilize uh, apply video stabilizer to correct shaky video strength you will notice that it kind of zooms in because it needs to crop out what it needs to fix the rotation but you don't need to check these those are just extreme and your computer must be able to power through that but we're going to keep it on 60 and we're going to press play here and there we go. Um, I'm going to walk and it definitely does a better job at making it less shaky than my last one. Let me show you a little bit of it before I do the video stabilizer. Uh, it crops back out and let's press play. And you're going to see me walking up and shaking. And look at all that shake. So much more shakier. So. Nothing is final until you actually create or produce the video. So if I wanted to produce this, I will go into this section and I will choose what format I want to save it in. So there you guys have it. This is a Power Director 14 made by Cyberlink. If you think this is something that you would like to try, I'll have the link in the description. I love the features on this. Lots of tutorials on there to learn how to do everything. And I'm excited to bring some cool editing effects for my sport adventures. And when you're using a sport camera, you're gonna be shaky everywhere. This is gonna be perfect for, you know, stabilizing that video. So, yep, that's it for me. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Later.